Well, hello there, friend, and welcome back to the Unfuck Your Biz podcast. Today, I am joined by Maria Bear. Maria, I never even ask you for your intro. How ter- terrible is that? But I know you are a sale- sales expert. Basically, you help people make a lot more money in their business. Is that, a, is that a good enough introduction for your expertise? That's pretty perfect. I love it. Okay, awesome. I'm going to bring you back on Thursday. It'll be a a little bit more of a formal process. So I'll, I'll get a better bio for you then. What we're going to do on this episode though, all my audience knows how this works. I collect one question from my Facebook group. I like to put my guests on the hot seat and give them this impromptu question on the episode, have you answer it. And then we call it a day on the Tuesday episode. How's that sound? Sounds perfect. Let's go. Okay, perfect. So this question comes from Melissa McClure. Uh, and Melissa is, for context, Melissa is a wedding and boudoir photographer. She's also an educator. Melissa does a whole bunch of fun stuff. Melissa's question is, do you have any tips on closing sales when you hate talking on the phone and when you feel like selling in the DMs is unnatural? I thought this was an interesting question because I was like, well, what's, what's left, Melissa? <laughs> any tips? <laughs> you got you to you be co- comfortable selling somehow. Yeah, because sales is kind of an important function of your business. <laughs> exactly. In fact, every every business you have is really sales. You just happen to be focusing on one one thing or another, right? So whether you're a photographer or a planner or an accountant or whatever. Um, so I would say first is you have to get comfortable with talking to your clients because if you can't communicate with them, if you can't talk to them, you're not going to be able to really evoke emotion with them and really find out what's important to them and sell them what they truly need. So to me, that is all about having a conversation and you can't do that in DM. So I do not like selling on DM. I know there's lots of people that do that, but if you are selling a high end service, you have to have a conversation. It's, it, it's just part and parcel with what you're selling. If you're selling on DM, chances are you're selling something that is inexpensive or something that's considered a commodity. And if you're selling an elite service, you really need to have a conversation. You can sell so much more by talking to someone than not talking to somebody because there's only so much that you're going to be able to tell from, you know, an email or a DM or some other kind of communication like that. So Love that part. Of, like part of Melissa's question was any tips on closing sales when you hate talking on the phone. So I guess tip number one is you got to, you just got to get more comfortable talking on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think part of the reason why people are uncomfortable and I see this all the time, so it's not anything, you know, unique. Most people feel that way. It's because you don't know, nobody teaches you how to sell, right? So it's not like you go to school and you learn how to sell. So you kind of have to just wing it in your business. So when you finally can get a like step-by-step plan for this is how you sell, it makes it so much easier because then you actually have sort of the, the framework to go within and you know what you're supposed to be talking about, right? So when you know what you should be talking about and how to say it um, in a way that builds value, those conversations are so much easier. And I have literally had people that said, I hate talking on the phone. I will not sell on the phone to turning around within like a month or two and saying to me, oh my God, Maria, I'm so glad you made me do it because I love it now. It feels so natural, you know, and I'm selling more. I don't love talking on the phone either, but if if someone wants to get on a phone call who potentially wants to give me money, I'm like, bring it on. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Okay. One thing you mentioned was it's important to have a step-by-step process on how to sell. I'm sure that you probably have one of those and that makes a great segue into our next episode. So everyone, we don't like to give away all the information here on Tuesdays. You know, we keep them short and sweet. So we're going to wrap it up there and hopefully you will join us in two days from now. We're going to do a deeper dive uh, with Maria on some more fun topics. So I will be back in your podcast app then. Have a good one.